Hey guys, it's uh, Sal here with uh, Products by Pros and of course Brian Orr from HVAC School. Yes, yes. I feel like a lot of guys out there are breaking their backs on the jobs carrying around oxyacetylene when they could just be using an air acetylene kit out there. The beautiful thing with Turbo Torch is that you are still using oxygen, you're just using naturally occurring oxygen, oxygen through these ports. And you're primarily getting your fuel source from your acetylene tank. Um, so again, you're use, still using oxygen, it's just naturally occurring through these ports and being sucked in as this uh, pressurized acetylene is being pushed through uh, these handles and the tips. Everything about Turbo Torch is in the tips. Um, when you decide on the type of tip size that you need for the jobs, you want to use a tip size that's going to wrap the flame completely around the tubing that you're working on. Um, with most of the kits out there, or the kit that I like to recommend to people, uh, it comes with an 8 tip and a 5 tip. Something about the tips numbers. The, the number on the tips means how many cubic feet of acetylene you're going to be using per hour. A lot of guys come to me when I talked about air acetylene kits with uh, Turbo Torx. They say, well, I'm going to be using more fuel. Not really, but with the, um, the tips, the number means how many cubic feet of acetylene per hour you're going to be using. An MC tank is... Back up. You're, you're, he's doing this whole monologue and you're not showing his face. Tell me when. Tell me when. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was my fault. No, it's fine. Okay, you're good. So an MC tank is 10 cubic feet of acetylene. So for a tip like this five tip that you can get with one of the tip uh, kits through Turbo Torch, uh, you're going to get two straight hours of burn. So an MC tank is 10 cubic feet of acetylene. You're going to get two straight hours of burn with the five tip. Uh, a B tank, if any of you guys are using a B tank out there, that's 40 cubic feet of acetylene. So that's much more time of burn. That's eight straight hours of burn if you're using a five tip. Not that you'd use a five tip on a B tank. That, that just goes to show you how long of a burn you're going to get per the number on the tip. If you guys want to allow me, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a demonstration with a 15% alloy braze uh, rod on this 7 inch joint right here. For this demonstration right here, I'm going to use 15% Sil Saw 15 from Solder Weld uh, for my 15% rod. Another beautiful thing with um, Turbo Torch or the air settling kit is there's no regulating. It's all the way on, all the way off consistent heat, 2700 degrees coming out of the tips. Um, and again, you want to get the tip efficient for the tubing size you're working on. And again, we're working on 7 eighths right here. So I'm going to be using my 8 tip. So I'm going to start by uh, heating up the tubing, getting it nice and hot. And you'll see the efficient flame wrapping all the way around the tubing to get You know, a lot of technicians would criticize this because it's not like the most beautiful edge around here that you did. But the fact is, is that it's covered all the way around. There are no gaps or cracks. If you look on the inside, you can see that solder is pulled all the way around this inner edge. So if you look down here, you can see that solder is pulled all the way into the joint. And that is the most important thing. What I really like about what Sal did is that he got the entire fitting both the tubing and the actual coupling to that kind of deep cherry red color that means that the solder is going to flow all the way in and that's the biggest mistake that new techs make while it's nice to make that pretty to make sure from the outside that you don't have leaks it's more important that you got the tubing hot enough that the solder can pull into the inside of the joint now another thing we didn't flow nitrogen on this and that's why you have all this carbon build up on the inside under normal circumstances you would flow nitrogen and that would make sure that you don't get that stuff Thanks guys again for joining me and uh, showing this demonstration of uh, Turbo Torch. Um, and again, I think you guys would rather carry this around rather than two tanks. That's pretty heavy to me.